Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop. Hi friends! Welcome back to our channel. Hello! And as with most videos, this is a very exciting day. As the spring comes, we there's more and more activities that we can go. So today we're gonna see an orchid show up in the Bronx in the Botanic Garden. And they have this every year. This is the 20th year they're doing it. And what's most exciting about it is that it's headlined or it's designed by Lily Kwong. Uh, she is the first woman of color to to design this, which is very exciting and oh. can't wait. Judging by the pictures, it looks really nice and pretty, so we really can't wait to, to check it out and show you guys. Yeah, and the show runs until end of April in New York, so we better get going. So we made it to the Botanical Garden. And we're gonna go directly to the conservatory because I think that's the only place with the orchid show. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit indoor. They do have a pamphlet you can grab when you enter and there's like a map. Alright, let's go. You excited? Yeah. The last time when we were here, it was for the Kusama show. Yeah. But we've never been here in this season, I guess. Wait, oh no. That's true. That Definitely a lot of people, huh? Yeah, and it's also really nice to see spring is coming and botanic gardens are blooming. New York has a pretty long winter. Okay, so we made it to the Haupt Conservatory, but it looks like there's a line. There's a lot of people. We're here at like in the afternoon around like 12, so it's ex I guess it's expected. But it's got a line, I guess. Inspired by this. Yeah. I was about to say it kind of looks like the paintings that like my grandmother did. Mm. I guess it's like inspired by the sunset drawing. Right, like those scrolls. Yeah, and this yeah the hanging like scrolls, yeah. Really, it's a really famous, um, it's an ancient artist, Ho Shi, early oh. spring. I think there's a bunch of different kinds, like different species. So orchids have a lot of symbolism and cultural meaning behind them. They come with different colors, so different colors have different meanings too. And they also come with different sizes and shape and they can be found all over the world. There were a lot of different types of orchids that we saw, and some of them I didn't even know they looked like orchids. Yeah. But they're all really pretty. Mm -hmm. And we also learned a lot about orchids. Like, they've been around the longest, and there's about 25,000 different types of orchids. We only saw about like 80 of them, so literally less than like 1% 1% of like the overall variation. Um, apparently they also have the tiniest seeds in the world and also they can live up to a hundred years old so wow. yeah. and we don't well know they never lived that long in our home <laughs> So at an event like this, it's no surprise that there's going to be a lot of people. Uh, I guess our advice to you guys would be to get there early or as early as you can because it did get worse as the day progressed. Yeah, by the time we came out, the lines were still very, very long. Yeah, I was really surprised.
So we arrived around 1 p.m. and got out right around 2.30 p.m.-ish. So we kind of stayed around an hour and a half. Yeah, and we took a bunch of photos and videos as you can see. So that did take up a lot of time. And we also stayed in some sections longer than others. So if you've ever been to the Newark Botanical Garden and the conservatory in there, you'll know that's pretty big. So there was a bunch of different rooms and it was actually kind of like a maze. But it was really cool because it took you on basically an orchid journey. Yeah, they also have signs all around the door so you know where to go next. So in the final section of the orchid show, it was really amazing. You really feel like you're in a painting. I think Lily Kwan really did a fantastic job using orchids as the strokes to paint a Chinese mountain landscaping type of painting. Mm -hmm. And it was just really left us speechless with different colors. Oh yeah, definitely. The, um, these clips and photos that we're showing you guys really don't do it justice. I definitely think that Lily Kwong and her studio definitely deserve a round of applause because this is done very well. So the orchid show runs until April 23rd. We were definitely a little bit late. Uh, they started in February. So if you can still catch it, please do. We highly recommend it. So again, our advice would be to get there early because there will be people. So if you get there later in the day, you're gonna be squeezing with others. Also, parking would be tough as the day progresses because more and more people obviously so if there's no parking in the botanical garden you go across the street to fordham university uh, for parking it is 22 dollars either way that wraps it up if you like this video please give us a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe we release videos every thursday see you next week bye Boom. Thank you.